God. Children are the worst. Just kidding. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into a topic that is close to my heart, and that's the child-free life. Now, you're new here. I've chosen to not have kids, and let me tell you, there are so many misconceptions floating around about what that decision means. So as your child-free auntie, figured it's time we set the record straight and debunk some of the most common myths people have about those of us who choose to not have children. Myth number one, child-free people are selfish. Ah, uh, you're selfish, a classic. First of all, let's break this down. The idea that choosing to focus on your own life, goals and happiness is inherently selfish is pretty outdated. Taking care of yourself, contributing to your community and being there for friends and family, these things matter. And they're not less valuable because you don't have children. Actually choosing to have kids without thinking about whether you're ready, emotionally, financially, or otherwise, that could be seen as selfish too, right? It's all about perspective. Also, the idea that not having children automatically makes you selfish as well, pretty narrow-minded. Many child-free individuals dedicate their time to volunteering in their communities, caring for elderly relatives, pursuing careers that benefit society, like teaching or healthcare, supporting their friends' children as loving aunts and uncles. Being child-free doesn't mean you don't care about others. It just means you've chosen a different path for expressing that care. Myth two, you'll regret it when you're older. This is another big one. You'll regret it later. Honestly, this is probably the most common thing I hear when I tell people that I'm child-free by choice, especially if they're older than me. Yes, looking at you boomers. <laughs> Look, I get it. Some people can't imagine their lives without kids and that is totally valid. But that doesn't mean my choice is less meaningful or that I'm going to wake up at 50 crying into my pillow about it. Also, just want to throw out there that 50 is not old. Regret is something that can happen with any decision in life, whether it's about kids, a career, or moving to a new city. It's not exclusive to having children or a child-free choice because the reality is many child-free people are just as fulfilled as parents. We are not a one-size-fits-all society despite what some other people might want you to think. Child-free people build strong networks of friends who become like family, invest in their communities, creating lasting connections, and have the time and resources to stay active and engaged as they age. Regret can go both ways. Some parents regret having children, but society makes it taboo to admit this. I don't know what's worse, regretting having a kid or regretting not. Number three, you'll be lonely when you're old. You'll be lonely when you're old. This one, it's hard because it's based on fear. And here's the truth. Having kids doesn't guarantee you'll avoid loneliness. Plus, being child-free gives me the freedom to invest in other relationships, friendships, partnerships, community that will be there for me throughout life. And loneliness isn't just about whether you have children. It's about connection, and that can come from so many sources. So we don't need to rely on the idea of having kids to avoid it. It's also why I touched on the challenges of making friends as an adult. As a child free by choice person, my friendships and community are incredibly important to me. I love investing into those relationships and building connections with others. Newsflash, having kids doesn't guarantee that you won't be lonely in old age. There are plenty of elderly folks whose kids rarely visit and many people are going no contact with members of their family, including and especially their parents, I should say. AKA, being a parent does not guarantee that there will be a relationship with your child when they are an adult. It's a privilege. 
but we shouldn't discount the impact of loneliness. Studies have shown that loneliness can increase the risk of mortality, cognitive decline, and depression, which directly impact elderly adults. I hope to go into my elderly years with a strong community full of silly friends that I can still go dancing on tables with so long as these knees still work. Our next myth is child-free people hate kids. This one like makes me laugh because like, yeah, I kind of do hate kids as a concept. Put me around them and it's a very different story. Not one of your own kids doesn't mean you despise all children. But seriously, it's like the moment you say you don't want children, people automatically assume you're out here rolling your eyes at every toddler you see. Not true. I love kids. There are so many kids in my life and those are friends whom I adore. I just don't want to be a parent myself and that is okay. Being child free doesn't mean we don't appreciate or enjoy kids. It just means we've made a different choice about how we want to spend our lives. And that's fine. Many, many people who are child free work as teachers, pediatricians, or in other child focused careers. They enjoy being aunts, uncles, or godparents, and they volunteer with youth organizations. Child free people can appreciate and even love kids without wanting to be parents ourselves. You're not a real adult until you have kids. <sighs> boy, oh boy. This is one that I just really have a lot of feelings around because this myth is not just offensive to child-free people, but also to those who can't have children for medical reasons. So using some corporate speak, let's double click into this, shall we? First off, what exactly defines a real adult? Is it about biological reproduction or is there more to it? I'd argue that adulthood is about taking responsibility for your actions. This means honing up to your mistakes, learning from them and striving to do better. It's about being accountable in your personal and professional life. Being an adult is also about financial independence and management paying your bills, budgeting, saving for the future. These are all responsibilities that have nothing to do with children. And in fact, many child-free individuals are able to achieve a certain level of financial stability due to having different expenses. Being an adult is also about emotional maturity, being able to regulate your emotions, empathize with others and handle conflicts maturely maturely are all signs of adulthood. These skills aren't magically bestowed upon you when you have a child. They are developed through life experiences and self-reflection. You know, I'm a big believer in mental health and taking care of that. And I think that makes a great adult. Another thing that adulthood is about is contributing to society. And this can take many forms, excelling in your career, volunteering, creating art, or innovating in your field. Child-free individuals often have more time and resources to dedicate to these pursuits. And adulthood is making informed decisions about your life. Ironically, choosing not to have children can be one of the most adult decisions a person can make. It shows self-awareness, careful consideration of one's capabilities and desires, and the courage to go against societal expectations. Hey friends, I see you. Moreover, this myth perpetuates harmful stereotypes and puts unnecessary pressure on people. It suggests that your worth as an adult is tied to your reproductive choices, but there's one correct path to adulthood and people who can't have children for medical reasons are somehow less adult. The reality is that adulthood is a spectrum, not a checkbox. Some parents may struggle with adult responsibilities while some child-free individuals excel at them. Having a child does not automatically make you more mature, just like not having one doesn't make you immature. In the end, being an adult is about taking charge of your life, making conscious decisions and contributing positively to the world around you. Whether that includes raising children or not is a personal choice 
that does not define your status as an adult. In myth six, your life has no purpose without children. This is the one that pisses me off the most. This myth suggests that the only way to find meaning in life is through parenthood. People are essentially saying, you'll never experience happiness without kids. Can we all just take a moment? Happiness and purpose are so subjective. For some people, their joy and purpose in life is absolutely coming from being a parent and that is wonderful. I had such a beautiful conversation with my BFF, Sammy's husband, Tom, whom I also count as a friend, on how he's just so excited to be a dad, how it's something he's always wanted to be and it feels inherent. The joy that came through his face as he spoke about their little peanut was genuine and I gotta say, pretty adorable. But for others, like me, Happiness and purpose come from other things like travel, career growth, hobbies, or even just a peaceful weekend at home. Which I pay a lot of money in New York City rent, so staying in this apartment is always a thing I am okay with. Real talk, there are countless ways to create purpose and leave a legacy. Child-free individuals often pursue passionate careers, create art, music, or literature, make scientific discoveries, fight for social justice, travel and learn about different cultures. Let's also consider some examples of child-free individuals who have made significant contributions to society. And you might have thoughts on some of these, but they're still true. Oprah Winfrey, media mogul, philanthropist, cultural icon, Betty White, beloved actress and animal rights activist, Nikola Tesla, inventor and electrical engineer who shaped modern electricity. Florence Nightingale, founder of modern nursing. And George Washington, the first president of the United States. Would anyone argue that these individuals weren't real adults because they didn't have children? Yeah, I don't think so. Your purpose is what you make it, kids or no kids. So, there you have it. Some of the biggest myths about the child-free life officially debunked. At the end of the day, the decision of children or not is deeply personal. There's no one size fits all approach to living a fulfilling life because the reality is that we all have the right to make the choices that best align with our values, desires, and vision for our lives. There's no one right way to live. Whether you're a parent, planning to be one, or happily child-free, what matters most is that you're living authentically and treating others with respect. Let's celebrate the diversity of life choices and support each other regardless of our parental status. And it is an election year, so I have to ask, please make sure that you are registered to vote and that you are enabling people to be able to make this decision for themselves. Thank you so much for watching. If you're child free or just considering a different path in life, drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And don't forget, like, subscribe if you want more content on lifestyle, mental health, fashion, and more. And until then, I will see you next time. And I hope you have a great rest of your day, night, evening, what have you. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this. 